I'm joined by Derek Quinn, who's a bank analyst at Nomura in Madrid. Uh, and so obviously one of the big challenges facing Mariano Rajoy will be dealing with the banking system. And they are under pressure, aren't they, to cut uh, property back debt. How difficult is that going to be when you have reports suggesting that the banks are said to hold some 30 billion euros of real estate that is essentially unsellable? Yes, I mean, the, the Spanish banks' uh, exposure and management of, of real estate and, and property uh, is, is an issue. I mean, it's been a concern of, of the market for, for some time. Um, the Bank of Spain has, has tried to, to increase levels of, of disclosure, increase capital requirements, increase provisioning requirements to try and uh, set some of the market concerns at ease. But given the, the level of exposure, which... Uh, at the moment is running at about 338 billion. Uh, I think there are still real concerns about um, the losses if there was to be a proper march market on, on that portfolio. So uh, still, still an issue that needs to be, to be dealt with. So Derek, if there were to be proper mark to market of real estate assets, as you say, how would that change the capital position of Spanish banks? Well, I think given the exposures of the of the Spanish banks uh, starting from the international ones of BBVA and Santander down to smaller domestic ones um, a more a more aggressive valuation or realistic valuation of the property I think would see uh, significant additional provisions and ultimately capital required uh, particularly for the domestic banks in the case of BBVA and, and Santander obviously their, their international operations their levels of profitability mm. and therefore the, the relative exposure that that property um, uh, has for them means that they're probably better placed to, to deal with it but certainly we're talking about addi significant additional capital requirements for for the Spanish banking system. Yeah and you know Derek that is pretty much reflected in your recommendations isn't it right now because if we just take a look at them you have a reduce or neutral recommendation on pretty much all the big uh, Spanish banks bar one. You rate Banco Español de Credito as a buy uh, and that is a position Derek that you have held for more than a year now so I'm just wondering what it is that you like about this stock when just looking at the chart here it's fallen over 40 percent since uh, since November 20th yes I mean I think our, our, our views with for, for the domestic Spanish banks uh, within a European context uh, we would uh, still prefer to remain underweight uh, we do like then to you know highlight within domestic banks uh, uh, a preference and Benesto is as a subsidiary of of Santander um, its level of capital, its liquidity profile, uh, we feel it has uh, certain uh, strengths relative to its domestic peers. So this is really a, a recommendation that highlights our, our relative preference within Spain, but um, yeah. at, at a European level, uh, we're, we're still uh, quite uh, cautious on, on Spanish banks as a whole. Yeah, and just to be absolutely clear about that, for, for Banco Español de Credito, that is a year-to-date share price, so that has actually fallen some 40% year-to-date, but uh, you're saying that actually in comparison to its peers, uh, that it isn't such uh, a bad opportunity. And I, I'm just wondering then, do you anticipate that the Spanish government might potentially set up a bad bank much as we saw in Ireland to absorb the, the so-called toxic assets yeah, I mean I think it's, it's an option they're, they're considering um, I mean from their election program and, and what they've said publicly maybe it's, it's difficult to anticipate exactly what what policy measures they're, they're going to implement now that they're, they're in government uh, but certainly it, it would seem that setting up some kind of uh, bad bank or government agency to try and remove toxic assets uh, from the system I think is an option they are they are actively considering. All right, thanks very much indeed. Dara Quinn, Banks Analyst at Amura International in Madrid. Good to talk to you.